Okay, what's up, Commanders? It's uh, Fiasco back again, and we have another ladder match on the cards for you today. Uh, in the last video, we talked about the basics of Supreme Commander and how it generally works. And um, I want to thank again uh, The Duelist for commenting on my first game. Um, as well, I think that The Duelist really kind of called out all the, all the things I did right and all the things I did wrong far better than I would have on my own. Um, he really, really did kind of nail down on the, th the most important part is that I wasn't uh, reclaiming or reconning enough, and I, I was inefficiently building things that weren't required. So here we have uh, my second ladder match. This is against Fire Own. So I'm playing Cybrin, not that you can see me, and he's playing Seraphim, not that you can see him either. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what uh, our initial kind of uh, build order looks like. The mantra of today's battle is leave your base. Get out of your base. Um, that's probably the miss, num number one thing that that I recommend. Uh, in this map, in this map, I um, work on two things. One is uh, I increasing my awareness of reclaim. And then, um, what's he doing? He's going first land, two power. I don't think he's even queued up a max yet. Doesn't look like it. Um, first rule in my mind is like be be aggressive because you never know you never know what's uh, what's out there. So I'm queuing up uh, two maxes, two P gens, a factory, and then two more maxes. And then um, one of the things that uh, Duelist commented in my video is in, is I should have my commander assist the generation with the hydro, um, and that's probably a good idea. I'm not so sure that this is the right play. I usually have my first um, first couple NGs focused on building maxes and reclaiming, and then I work on getting the hydro um, up and running a little later. But I'm more worried about getting <coughs> excuse me getting uh, the reclaim machine running ASAP, and then pumping out some recon to to go scout. So what's my what's my opponent doing? He's working on his hydro. He's getting his econ up and up, <coughs> up and running. Uh, and it does appear as if Fire Own has really kind of opted for um, a very centralized build, and that's uh, perfectly acceptable. It does maximize your access to things like uh, adjacency boni and that kind of deal. And I'm um, I do eventually kind of focus on that, but I'm less worried about it at first. Uh, so I'm grabbing my initial maxes and doing some scouting. I've got uh, two moles, which is the Cybran scout unit, um, and then one lab pushing, or two labs pushing up the middle, uh, three. So I've got, I guess, my initial combat order. I'm already starting to spit out Manti. And I, I learned, I think... One important lesson for my first game with Smoons, or well, this is my first rated game. Uh, no, it's not my first rated. I had several that I lost just horribly um, before I really kind of found my groove, I guess, so to speak, with the Smoons game. Um, and I thought, again, Smoons was and remains, uh, he's just a great opponent. I've actually had the opportunity to play some custom games with Smoons a couple of times, so it's been very nice. Um, my scout almost almost gets into the base here. My la he his commander sees my my uh, my lab and picks it off, uh, but does not I think see the spider. So the spider manages to get into the base. That's pretty cool. Um, my other lab is doing the same thing as his his lab is. We're both just kind of zooming into one another's bases and checking out kind of what we can see. Um, as I continue to expand my economy, my commander's just sort of sitting here doing nothing, which is uh, not great. So that's really not effective. I should be pushing into mid or uh, engaging something, trying to capture a max or, or something with my commander, but I'm just sort of doing nothing with it. Now, the one thing that I think is really, really cool uh, that Fire does is he puts his stealth combat scouts all around the map in these places that allow him to sort of see what's going on. Now, they do have fairly limited line of sight, as you can see, they kind of only see so far, but what's super cool about this is um, these guys are mostly here at the end of the game. Like, they're all alive at the end of the battle. 
Let's take a look at how I'm doing with the economy. So I'm floating a lot of mass and I'm wasting energy, or I'm, I'm negative on energy. I do work on that, um, but I should be upgrading something. I am upgrading a max. I probably have the opportunity to do two here, if that's the case. Um, yeah, because there's just energy going nowhere at this point. Or not energy, but uh, mass going nowhere. So I could be throwing up another couple factories or something. Um, but I'm aggressively trying to scout scout his base and see what he's up to. This is something I learned from the games with Smoons. Is uh, I watched the replay of the Smoons game and I was like, ooh, you know, I had no idea what he was doing basically the entire battle. It's, it's lucky. It's pure luck that my raid managed to get into his base and take out his eco. But, um, you know, without that, I, like, I had no idea. I wasn't planning on doing it. So that's one max upgraded. Am I doing anything else with any of the other ones? Not yet. Okay. Look, all this mass just going nowhere. So that's uh, super wonderful to, to see um, energies fixed. I should be building a factory or something. I do have one queued up. That's good. Should be really, like, dramatically expanding my unit production at this point, And I'm just not. So these are cool. Um, they're great and a great opportunity to kind of do some eco attacking later on, but I, I don't know what I'm, when I get in there with them, if I take a max out or something. Um, we have uh, another max coming up. I think somewhere in here I start trying to build a radar, and yeah, their, their scout gets my energy, uh, NG. So I do have a radar up. Let's take a look at how far that radar can see. Um, so it's given me visibility to, let's say, half of the interesting part of the battlefield. And that tells me I should probably build one over here as well on the left side, on the left lane of the map. This is actually a really fun map. I kind of like this. It's a very, there's like three kind of lanes of advance. There's the um, around here, around here, and then up the middle. Um, and so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six factories currently under construction. Um, in various states of construction. As you can see, I'm still positive on mass, just throwing money away, building units, all that kind of stuff. I should be, I don't know, upgrading something. I could be buy, I could be buying, like, maybe not like Tier 2 on the Commander, but certainly a gun upgrade or something. Um, hopefully I've realized that I'm just throwing mass away. Yeah, so I'm, I'm upgrading other max. I should be doing more maxes, more max upgrades. I'm better about upgrading my eco in this battle than I was with the ones with Smoons. Um, Smoons was able to take out my central facility, and at that point, I really didn't have the ability to uh, really upgrade my mechs, and I feel much more in control. I felt I felt much more in control in this battle. Um, so Fire is doing a very clever, smart thing. Is he's kind of establishing a forward op uh, operating base up here, but these facts are just sitting here. Um, inactive as is his commander so maybe he's watching the fight over here trying to micro his thams or something i'm not really sure you know why he doesn't just why is he not trying to build units okay there we go we got more coming he must have been distracted with something i don't know but uh it's given me the opportunity to get kind of a unit advantage i think if you look at the map just how many red things there are versus how many blue things there are it does feel like I kind of have a unit advantage. That's kind of a truism generally of the Cybern, um, is that they seem to me to be kind of the rush faction. Um, their stuff generally seems cheaper. Their stuff seems kind of squishy by comparison, maybe a bit faster. Uh, certainly their commander, like he's got just 10,000 hit points to start off with by comparison, 11,500. So... You know, and look at this. Now he's got the machine going. Three, four, five factories spitting out units. I'm doing my damnedest, though, to, like, push into his base uh, and try and find oblique or weird angles to get into his stuff. Uh, and this actually looks like it would probably have a decent chance of succeeding. I've got a raid coming in over here. I've got a raid coming in over here. And if, if uh, does he even, can he see any of this? Yeah, so for all the good that his recon's doing, it's not actually doing much for him. Um, but he does appear to have radar up somewhere. I don't know where. Um, I guess here somewhere. He's got to have radar somewhere. He is upgrading maxes. He's got one, two. They're all upgraded for the most part. So look at this. Like, I'm up in his grill, and there's a real chance that I could be just really hurting him economically. But um, let's take a look at my eco. How am I doing? Look at this. I should be upgrading 
to T2 land at this point. I should already look at this mass and just floating and doing nothing with. And the same thing with my energy. I could be storing it or something or building storage. Just look at the engineer. Just doing nothing. This guy right here. So these are kind of notes to myself more than anything else uh, about what I should be, should or shouldn't be doing and that I'm not. Um, but I do have all four facts up, which is good. One of them is doing nothing, which is not good. Um, the other three are all building various land units. I think I do have an AA in my build order. Um, but that is much more um, about the chance <coughs> Excuse me, that he might build air than anything else. I don't know at this point. Also, oh, this is so frustrating. So if my comm just pushed forward, <laughs> there's, you know... Undefended factories right there with no units c that are that are in the vicinity, and I just I just don't know about it. I just don't know about it. This is one of those reasons where I think more uh, recon is always the answer because you just I didn't know about this. I had no clue that this was here, and I don't know. It's bad, right? That said, though, I'm um I'm kind of really trying to be very aggressive uh, in my play. And um, I've got one entrance I've kind of blocked off. I'm building another factory. Um, one of the comments that Duelist made in, my, in, in the video that he reviewed of mine, my battle, is I should be putting this factory probably up here against this mass extractor to gain a little bit of an adjacency bonus. Like, this is great that it's saving me all this energy, but as you can see, I've got... Well, actually, the eco, the energy is... Building this E is probably okay. Um, I'm starting to balance the mass, so I'm growing into the mass, but there was a lot of, uh, a lot of, in the first, let's say, five minutes, or, like, the, after five minutes, but before ten minutes of time where my mass was just sitting here doing nothing, you know, just flying off into the ether. Now it's a bit better, um, it looks like, but that's probably because I'm e-stalling hard. Um, so I do, I do know that eventually somewhere in here I upgrade my, one of these factories at T2, but I don't know when. So I just got one. Yeah. I should be upgrading another fa Max 2 as well. Alright, let's take a look at the overall battle. So I still feel like I have overall map control. I, I still feel like I'm uh, way ahead in terms of positioning, in, in terms of just dictating the flow of the battle. He has kind of, he's, he's really effectively contesting um, this ridge over here and then the fight in the middle is if i could just push past his commander i'd get to his factories but to do that i would probably need to engage with my comm uh, which i don't i don't do as much as I, I should in this fight um because i i have unit advantage so i could push his comm um with my commander and he'd be hard pressed to choose which one to attack the commander or me um because i've already got him into the yellow and i've just got more manti approaching i i could be I could be and I should be pushing this attack way harder than I am. So, um, I've opened up a new front over here. Uh, again, just build these right on, like build, 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 if I was to do this particular fight over again, build the PD up here, because this is the bottleneck, and then build the factories around the mechs. Or build the, build the factories on this mechs, you know, and, and then that lane is now basically mine at that point. So now he's starting to equalize his um, production capacity. Like, I feel like we're producing the same amount of units. What's his eco looking like? So he's he's floating a lot of energy. Um, how am I doing? And I'm just throwing resources away like crazy. Throwing resources away like you wouldn't believe. Am I, am I ecoing or something? Am I... No, it's just going nowhere. So that's, you know, like a, a comment to myself is you have all this mass that you could be doing something with, so do something with it. Um, I am trying to get better about uh, reclaim um, and expanding and building new factories all over the place, but it's, it's just not something I've, I've really nailed. I, I kind of abortively go for gun comm here, and then I decide maybe not. Um... Eventually in here, I am going to go to T2 on my comm. I don't know when I do that, though. But look at the eco. I am outmassing and out-energizing um, fire own. And 
how am I doing as far as yeah I'm just wasting resources so uh, the fact that I'm out ecoing him isn't really doing anything and here we go so I've built I'm doing a little yeah that's right um so my strategy with my comm is to bravely build PD and do kind of a, a PD creep up the left center of the battlefield here. It's not a good strategy because um, it's just easily countered by artillery. However, he's got his own PD for the same reason, which is being countered by artillery. Like my Medusas here are putting rounds on um, his PD, which basically nullifies it. And I should be, I should be using the the uh, the mass the eco advantage I've got which which I, I probably don't I don't know I have but I have a pretty solid indication that I've got it and that's mostly coming from the fact that I've got like map control I don't know if I have map control map control but I I certainly feel as if I have more than fifty percent of the map you know it's like sixty percent it's not much but it's enough um, but there's all this uh, reclaim that I'm not really doing anything with. Let's, let's press... Yeah. In fairness, um, there's still plenty of reclaim here. My base I could be picking up. All this is, is, is fair game. These two rocks are huge. That's basically like some energy. That's several units at least. Um, most of the reclaim's here, and that's hard to get for me. So that's that's true. Um, but it's still... still annoying. Uh, still wasted resources. So we are upgrading the factory here to T2. So we're at 15 minutes. Um, let's say I probably started it at like 13 and change. So that's not terrible for upgrading your fa first factory. I probably could have done it earlier though. And see, this is why my T1 PD creep just gets immediately countered by T1 RD. Um, it does help with the fams in the center. And again, I just don't... Well, no, now I know they're there. Okay. I've got, you know, I'm, I'm like behind his shit on the left here. I am really creeping in behind his stuff. I could probably swarm the PD. I could take out the NG. You know, all this raiding is, is really doing wonders for me. I feel like I'm doing a really good job in this regard of getting up in his grill um, and dictating the terms of the engagement. Uh, but I'm, I'm a little less on it when it comes to building units. Now I do have rhinos starting to come off of the factory line. How's my eco looking? All right, so now it's a little better, um, but I need to work on kind of leveling up my ener my mass in. Uh, I'm not as worried about energy just kind of sitting around. I think probably by now I should be building energy storage so that I could overpower or overcharge uh, my comm, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Overcharge my calm. Um, all right, back to observer mode. So the PD creep is is opening some doors because it it kind of locks down until he shuts it down. It locks down some of these resources, and I I know I do it eventually. I just don't know when I do it. But somewhere in here, I think to myself, okay, it's it's clear that T1 PD isn't the correct answer. <laughs> Which, you know, probably should be self-evident. Um, but do I, I mean, come on, come on. Do I do it now? Do I just sit there and do nothing? Here I'm just feeding him mass. Like, this is stupid. Um, I should be clumping right here and then going in as a big wave or something versus just an attack order. I'm pretty sure it's just a, I'm pretty sure it's just an order from the factory. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just a, a, a production order from the factory to go in there and that's not the correct answer at all I, I get what i'm going for i get the idea but it's not even remotely the right idea um and like at no point in time does he ever really present a serious threat to my forces and yet uh you know i yeah finally i start pd district t2 t2, t2. I do finally have positive mass as well, so I've probably upgraded more maxes. Yeah, so I've got one more upgraded here. I should be ringing these. That would be a very cheap and easy way to get these kind of more powerful. And then just not worry about what's going on out here. Have I upgraded that one too? So yeah, we've got several maxes upgraded at this point in time. I'm still seriously out-ecoing uh, Fire Own, who is seriously mass-starved. 
um, where I'm... I guess actually I'm doing okay on the mass. Uh, there's still plenty of reclaim, though, that I could be picking up. You know, just safe reclaim over here. Um, maybe over here. Like, this This is still very contested. Okay, that's valid, right? Like, that's that's not going anywhere. But I could be probably sending an NG to pick some of this stuff up or this shit over here in my base that there's just no reason for me not to get. And in fairness, I guess he's not getting it either. Um, but, you know, a, a competent player... Or a, a, not a competent, he's not incompetent, but like a different player would be getting that mass. He would have reclaimed these things, and, or probably even this stuff, right? And then he would have uh, he, he would have gone to T2 far earlier than I do because uh, I'm starting to win in the center here predominantly because I have rhinos. Look at the difference. 270 hit points on a mantis and then 1900 on a rhino. Like that is a gigantic jump in terms of offensive potential. Um, we're finishing here my upgraded T2. Um, how's my eco looking? Pretty, pretty, this is much better as far as balancing the, the, the mass is concerned. So now I think the, P, the, the, the PD creep can really kind of come along to the next level. But I think there's one thing that I, I told myself I, I should be doing that I'm not doing, and that's, um, this is great that I've got I, I, I was I wised up and I now got my units massing here and then attacking his factories is um, I told myself I'd put an engineer into the build orders this is these, these units would really be helpful not that they would send the tie but they'd be helpful I told myself I'd put an engineer into the build order and that they would come in here and start um, reclaiming things and I don't think that they're doing that another thing that I could be doing is building radar um, at this point in time, he's been effectively pushed out of the center. So now I have the center of the map, and again, look at all this reclaim that I could pick up, that I, I should pick up. Is it 190, 180, 183? Like, this is, these are several units, if not upgrades to things, and I'm just not picking them up at all. Um, that said, the Cerberuses are really doing work for me, so that's good. Uh, I don't know if PD creep is exactly a brave or exciting strategy, but, I mean, it's working for me, so I'm not mad about it. Um, I am very happy with the fact that, like, I put the Cerberus down, I realize it's low on hit points, and I just say, okay, instead of allowing him to have that easy win, let's go ahead and repair it. And he just leaves the commander sitting there in Cerberus range, which is just not good for it. He's picking up um, Vet, which is great, because I'm swarming him with T1. Um... But, yeah, he's, I don't know what he's planning on doing at this point. I mean, rhinos are, are a serious threat. He's this close to being taken out already. If I push the attack a little harder, I might have him now. So, you know, I win the battle, but, like, honestly, I could have won it earlier. Um, by be a little more aggressive. Because he's 2,000 hit points, I can, I can take that. Be more aggressive, push the attack, um, eco harder, and honestly, probably build more factories. How's my... Oh, no, I'm mass starved. Okay. I'm doing, like, barely okay. Um, am I reclaiming at all? Well, there's an engineer doing nothing next to a whole bunch of reclaim that I could be picking up. So, no, probably not. I am upgrading maxes, so that's good. Um... But I'm, as you can see, mass starved like a bitch. That's probably because I'm building more Cerberuses. Yeah, so part of that, it, admittedly, is is the is the commander who, like, I'm right next to a max. I should go build on that. I should reclaim stuff or build on this max, one of one or the other. Um, and I'm not, of course. But at, I mean, at this point in time, I, I feel pretty confident. I've got map control. Um, I can eco a bit. And then push in for the kill, is is what I'm what I'm thinking at this point in time. Is I can secure my base of operations, and then I can go in and, and push in for the kill. So what does my commander do here? Oh, he does actually decide to secure the mass. That's good. And I'm building a T2 mass extractor as well, which is even better. That'll go a long way towards evening out my eco. Um, I think those are all still T1 factories. Yeah. So I've just got. Oh no, I've got. A second one. Yeah, so I've got two T2 factories, 
both pumping out rhinos, which I think are really excellent. They're excellent units. I think rhinos are great. Um, and, and, and Duelist mentioned, I think he's dead right, that I should have been pumping out Ilshivas in that last battle with Smoons, and I should be reclaiming all of this, because look at how much there is. Look at all that green. I should be reclaiming this, and I'm not. So I do build that. That's excellent. What do I do with it? Do I... Um, He's coming out to try and gun calm some. And again, like, it's just, he's he's reclaiming. But he's, at this point in time, like, he's just locked in his base. I've got, he's got a, a leaky, a leaky front over here that I keep slapping into. Um, this is dumb. Like, these two T1 PDs are doing so much work. I would have they done four kills and two kills. So I guess maybe not that much work, but he's probably rebuilt them a couple of times. So I do ring it, which is good, I guess. And how's my, how's my eco doing okay? Um, I should be making a plan for that new mass because um, it's very positive. <laughs> and if it's very positive, it's only a matter of time before I'm wasting it. Um, so I should be upgrading a factory or honestly building like three more factories or something. And I don't think I do any. Oh, no, I do. Ha! All right. It's been a while since I played this this match. Um, we artillery helps us get get rid of the the PDs, and then now his base is basically wide open um, on this side. It's he's doing a kind of a last ditch here, Custer's last stand on the on the screen right. So this is actually a good punch, but I'm going to be able to counter it because I've got rhinos and he doesn't. Um, and even though I'm, I'm these, this is four rhinos and a man mantis. Even though these units ultimately end up dying, like they kill way more than they cost to make, and they just lock him in the base. I take out another one of these mexes, or this is PD actually. Um, I'm able to just stem the attack here by just throwing T2 at it. Essentially, I got two more T2 factories starting to spit out um, more T2 units. So at this point in time. He's look at the, look at the mass. Like I'm I'm at a hundred ish, which is probably somewhat reclaim. Am I reclaiming? Ah, okay. So it came late, but I'm reclaiming. Um, so, so you know, better late than never. I should perhaps cap that max while I'm over here with engineers. But you know, hey, whatever. Um, yeah, two new factories pumping out T2 units, plus the two that are down here. I don't think I've upgraded anything else. So I've got one, two, three, four, five T1 factories, and then four T2 factories, which is, I feel like, really great. Uh, especially given his, his current map position. Um, this particular rocket artillery is not going to get anywhere. I don't think. Maybe he will get a rocket off. Probably not, though. <laughs> he gets one rocket off. It goes nowhere. Okay, so there's a rocket. It just didn't do any good. Um, but, I mean, we're, we're getting that steady stream of T2 units now at, right up on, on his base. And they're, um, one of the things I think that's, that when I look back on the battle with Smoons, uh, that I think he did, like, a mistake, is that he had, oh, and then building a radar as well. Cool. So there's a lot that I've learned, and, and there's still plenty for me to be improving upon. Um... There's a rhino just hanging out, just having a good day. How's he doing? He's at 7,000 health. He's uh, working on taking my rhinos out, but he's getting... I feel like rhinos will take this guy out eventually. Like, enough rhinos will take that out. Um, so Smoon's built, what, like nine factories just north of my base, but he didn't build any defenses, and he didn't tech up. And I built the two factories here. I probably should have built, like, three How's my... No, this is... Yeah, I, I probably could have built more. Like, one more one more T2 factory would be just pumping out rhinos at point-blank range. But at this point in time, like, the map is mine, more or less. He's got these little groups that come out. Um, he's got a real hard time holding off. He's going to hold the front, but, I, I mean, what do you do? How do you stop? How do you stop this? This coming into your, your flank is, like, pretty much GG. And now I'm building a Cerberus at, outside his base, and I think another Cerberus or maybe a Gunther. I don't know. Um, probably a Gunther. I do remember trying to build a Gunther. I don't think I ended up needing to, though. He's got swarms of T1, which is just not a problem for me. 
Uh, yeah, I'm building a Gunther. I don't know if it completes, though. I don't know if it needs to complete. Like, the game's over, basically. Um, because I'm up in his base, and I've got T2 units just taking out his factories, like, that's it. That's it right there. I don't need to kill the commander, because I've already won. Um, and, uh... <clears throat> Actually, I think, does the Cerberus get the kill? No, it might be a, a Rhino or something that does the, does the shot. So, notes to self, more radar. This is this is good, but it's too little too late. And a lot, a lot more reclaim. Because there's still reclaim happening. Well, actually, I did okay. I mean, there was, what, a, a crap load here in the middle, and now most of this is gone. But just a lot more reclaim. A lot more scouting, a lot more reclaiming. Um, be better about wasting my eco. I, I think, um, I think there were several minutes early on in the match where, uh, I had just mass going nowhere that would have been better spent upgrading mexes or building new factories or likely both. Um, I'm not sure that this is the best. I probably could have even gotten with building, a. Uh, like land, 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 and then like an air, and just trying to get the occasional air scout or bomber out there. But eh, we'll see. Um, I, long story short, I think I learned a lot of lessons from the Smoons game, um, and I tried to apply them here. But there's still plenty, I think, of room for improvement. Um, Fire own really kind of had me on the back foot for a lot of the game. He was very aggressive with his uh, early factory placement, and I just didn't scout enough to know that this was here earlier in the battle or I could have taken it out um, before. And then at that point in time, he really would have been locked for the most part back here, and I would have had even more map control. And the ma the battle here, which was 29 minutes, would have been, I don't know, 24 minutes or something. It would have been over that much faster. So overall, I'm very happy with the battle. Um, I thought Fire was a good opponent. I thought Smoons was a good opponent, and... I'm eager to see how I do in the next uh, round or the next game. So I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Fiasco saying I'll see you on the field.